Hello and welcome to Learning Science. In this video, we will discuss about all DAX function in Power BI. Most of us has question in which scenario we are going to use this function. Don't worry, stay tuned. I am going to explain you in detail about this function with the example. Basically, all function returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column, ignoring any filters that might have been applied. This function is useful for clearing filters and creating calculations on all the row in a table. So let us start. So let me show you first data set. So if for today's session, we are going to use the workshop data set. So let me show you the workshop data, uh, data set has a start date, course code, course name, employee ID, cost, supplier, quarter, and year. So basically, we are not going to use all the columns. We are going to use a few columns. Let me show you. On your screen, you can see a course name. There is a filter I have created on course name and the supplier. And this visual give us the total cost by year. So let me add a one table to explain you what is all function. So. I'm adding table here. I'll increase the size of the table. Okay. Now I will add here the course name. Okay. Now I want a total cost of each course name. Okay. So I'll add one major. So new major. So I will say here. total cost. Now, I'll use a same function, some function, workshop and cost. So I will add here, so total cost, and if I'll do some filtering, the, the cost will also filter, okay? So if I'll do the communication expert, it, as expected it the any filter apply from the visual any visual bar chart or any visual it will also impact now we are going to use all function we'll create a one more new major so here we we'll say total cost in bracket and what I'm going to use here, calculate function, and I'm going to use a same total cost measure which we have created, or I can use a sum. Better total, save time. So, and I'll say all. And here I will give, you can see here, the table name or the column name. Column name will come to that. And here it is asking the, I will give the table name. So now I'm going to add this table. So here you can see it is ignoring the course name. This is the context filter it is ignoring and it is giving in respect of the whatever the course is, it is giving us the total. Whatever is here, it is giving us same. It will also ignore the any kind of filter. If it is coming coming from the slicer or if it is coming from uh, any visual, it is ignoring. Now, for example, this is ignoring all kind of the filter which is available on the page. If I want to ignore some particular uh, column like course name, so how to do that? Let us go here. And what I'm going to do here, I will add a course name. So if I will select any course name, my total cost all is not going to change, not going to change. Okay. So, but if I will use a supplier, it is going to change. Okay. So it is giving the total four, three, eight triple zero okay and same same will applicable if i'll use a 
filter from some particular visual. Okay. Now let me give you the show you the one example quickly. Okay. Now we'll remove the column. Here is the scenario. I want to to add a one more column which give me the percentage of the total cost. How I will do it? If I will this I will use at this total cost like total cost divided by the total cost. It will give me the hundred percent. Let me show you. So let me create one more. Thing. So I'll use a cost percentage. Okay. Now, if I'll use the total cost and divide by total cost, what is going to happen? So as it is percentage, so let me change the format. So I'll say that it is percentage. Let me add here. So it is giving 100% because the this divide by this. So 100%. Now what we are going to do, we will divide the this one, this one, this one from the total cost all. So let me modify this one. So here instead of total cost, what we will do here, we will add our all. Okay. Now see our percentage is correct. 22%, 70 and so on. So this is this function is useful in that scenario. So I hope you like this video and thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much once again.